We're in our emissions testing lab, and one of the things I want to cover is how the Carnot generator is fuel agnostic. So when most people hear the word genset, they obviously think of kind of your car engine, which the way this works is you bring fuel in and you do these quick explosions of the fuel, and that's what moves the piston, gives you that rotational energy. The Carnot is extremely different where our fuel source is actually heat. And so all we're using the fuel for is to make that heat. And so we operate much more like how a candle flame is, where it's just this long, continuous burn of the fuel. Now, what this offers as a benefit is our emissions levels are drastically lower uh, because we have a lot longer time to actually oxidize the fuel. And that allows our NOx and CO levels to be in the tune of like 98, 99% lower. Now, another benefit of the, this type of uh, reaction process is it gives us the ability to be truly fuel agnostic because as long as you can react the fuel to make heat, uh, chances are we can run on it. So if you look at hydrogen, natural gas, propane, even liquid fuels like diesel or gasoline, we can uh, use that fuel as our heat source in order to power the Carnot generator. Electrification is happening, it's real. And so when you think about all the applications that we're gonna feed into, it's unbelievably diverse. I mean, who doesn't use electricity uh, in some way or another? And the means for that are growing every day as we all see, you know, we see cars moving in that direction, but homes and businesses and industrial facilities are using more and more electricity than ever before. What also is interesting is there is a whole revolution and discovery process in fuels. Um, which fuel is going to be the fuel of the future? I would say that history is not decided yet. Like no one really knows. And so by creating a product that can take many different input fuels or sources and create electricity, which is growing in demand, really future-proofs us and allows us to compete in so many applications. And I think you're just going to see that continue to grow uh, as this trend continues.